Hello, I'm Tiffany Green, broker with Excel Realty Group. The decision to sell your home is dependent on many factors. Whatever your reasons for selling, my proven effective marketing plans will ensure you the highest possible price for your home. I guarantee to provide you with professional, ethical, and confidential service and keep you well informed every step of the way. Call me at 478-279-2009 or you may email me at tiffanygreen421 at gmail.com. Let's get started today. We're here at uh, West Lawrence High School, uh, Jim, uh, a.k.a. the Saddle Dome. First round state playoff match, uh, 4A, between Lady Raiders hosting uh, Cross Creek Razorbacks. Okay, Cross Creek gets the tip. Uh, number, number 21 has it off to number three at the right wing. Down to 32, loses the ball. West Lawrence gets the ball. Moving down the court. Let's see, we got number three, Brianna Mack with the ball. Swings it over. For a three, no good. And we got out of bounds to Cross Creek. Uh, West Lawrence coming in the number two seed out of region two four A. Cross Creek, uh, the number three seed out of region three four A. Number three, Bess, brings it up. Looks like the Lady Raiders in a two three zone. Off to the right wing. Down to 32 right there underneath. Misses the shot. Fight for the rebound. See, we got Jazzy Smith coming down the floor on the right wing. Heavily guarded. Gets it number four, Camilla Mack. Gets it over to Kayla Murray. And we have a foul on the floor. Uh, it'll be West Lawrence underneath. Number 12, Ja'Kara Wilbur inbounding the ball. Gets it to Murray, over to Mack, over to Smith. Number 12, Wilbur with the ball, Ja'Kara Wilbur. Over to Jazzy Smith on the right wing. Got a three seconds in the lane violation on the Lady Raiders. Uh, we'll go over to Cross Creek. Looks like the Lady Raiders might put a little token pressure right here. They're backing down, when it looks like the two, three again. To 23 on the right wing. Down to 32. Looks like they like to do that a lot here early on. And we have an out of bounds on the Lady Raiders right there. It'll be Cross Creek's ball underneath. Cross Creek inbounding. Number 21 on the left wing. Takes the shot. No good. Rebound. It's like we might have an over-the-back call on the Lady Raiders here. Calls on the floor. We're underneath on the baseline, Cross Creek. And 23 dribbles the ball up top. See, that's Marlin off to number three, Bess, with a three, no good. 32 rebound and loses the ball on the, underneath. So no score here yet. Uh, we've played a minute and 40 seconds. So you've got number 12, Wilbur, walking the ball down the floor. It's like Cross Creek's in a zone, get an open look right there. Wilbur, no good. Number three, Bess, gets the ball. She's down the floor, gets it to the right wing, number 32. Barfield, back to three, Bess. Number 23 in the corner, Marlin, up, uh, back up top to number three, Bess. Down to 32, and looks like we just have a block out of bounds here. All right, number three inbounds the ball underneath. Gets it to 23, Marlin with a shot, no good. 32, she's gotten a rebound or two already. And loses the ball out of bounds uh, off of Lady Raiders. So uh, Cross Creek will inbound the ball once again. Got a 2-3 zone by the Lady Raiders. Uh, 
21 gets the ball. See, that's Dorsey. Uh, Dorsey with the shot, no good. Number 12, Wilbur bringing the ball down the floor. Gets it off number three, Mack. Dribbles on the right wing. Right. Ball's deflected and will be Lady Raider ball up uh, on the baseline here. Off number four, Mack with the ball. Off to number 12, Wilbur in the corner. No good. Rebound, Cross Creek. We've almost, let's see, we played about two, uh, two minutes, 45 seconds, no score. And number 21 drives, gets fouled. Uh, let's send Dorsey, I think, to the line for two free throws here. Both teams probably nervous uh, here at the beginning of the ball game, uh, you know, for, for the playoff. And let's see, we're gonna, all right, first three free throw was, was good. All right, yep. Second free throw off, we're out of bounds on Cross Creek. So Lady Raiders will inbound underneath, trailing by one. Okay, number, number 12, Wilbur brings the ball down the floor for the Lady Raiders. She's off to the right wing, number 22, which is Wayne Tiana Floyd. Ball is deflected out of bounds, so Lady Raiders are simply inbound in the sideline here. Number 12, Wilbur passes to Mac up top. Looks like Cross Creek's in a 1-2-2 uh, defense here, 1-2-2 zone defense. Lady Raiders trying to get the ball in. Uh, ball is deflected out of bounds. It'll be Lady Raider ball on the deep sideline, close to the baseline here. Uh, ball in, Wilbur to Mac, back to Wilbur, back to Mac, back to Mac, back to Wilbur, back to Mac. For a three, no good, underneath. Tell you, number 13, Nyla Johnson gets in right there and loses the ball. I look like we got a little token pressure right here on 2-3 trap. Ball is deflected out of bounds. It'll be Cross Creek ball here. Cross Creek inbound at number 21, Dorsey up top. Off to number 23, Marlin. She shoots, no good. Number 21, Dorsey with the ball on the left wing now. And she uh, dribbles it off her feet, off out of bounds here. West Lady Raiders will inbound, still only trailing by one. Lady Raiders uh, going basically half of the first quarter scoreless here. No problem though, only down one. Simply a one possession game. Mack misses the three, ball gets deflected. Looks like we're gonna stay Lady Raider ball here. Lady Raiders on the sideline, right, right in front of uh, Cross Creek's bench here, the Razorbacks. Got Wilbur on the right wing, up to Mack, back to Wilbur. Back to Mack up top, back to Wilbur. And she drives in and ball, ball gets blocked out of bounds. We'll stay underneath. Wilbur underneath here. Gets it to Max. She drives and gets fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Okay, we'll take a quick break right here. Uh, sponsored by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Dublin Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. 
with the hot freshest donuts come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics. All right, we're back here. We got Mac at the line for two. And she misses the first. She's got another one coming. Mack with the second, misses the second. Number 21, Dorsey with the rebound. Long pass over the head of number 23, Marlin. And Lady Raiders will have to retrieve it and bring the ball in now. Floyd gets it into Wilbur here. Floyd going to the right wing. Wilbur's up top, gets it to Mac for the three, no good. Floyd gets the ball, but then it, uh, it's, it steps on the sideline there. Cross Creek now inbounding the ball. Looks like West Lawrence going to maybe a little 1-3-1 one, one, half court in the zone defense here. Extending it half court, we'll see. Uh, what we got here, looks like we got a foul on the Lady Raiders. Uh, apparently it was shooting foul, so we're going to the line. Number 23, Marlin. No good on the first one. Rolls out. The old saying is she cleaned it up right there, so let's see if the second one goes down. Oh, and it does, all right. So we got Cross Creek with a 2-0 lead. 3-15 left in the first quarter. Number 12, Wilbur, ball up top. Dribbling, trying to get the penetration right there. Up to Mack, back to Wilbur for a three, no good. Battle for the rebound, no good. Cross Creek gets the ball, moving up the floor. Number 21, Dorsey. Number off the 32, shot no good. All right, Lady Raiders with the ball. Number 12, Wilmer. On the right wing, gets it to Mack. Looks underneath to Nyla Johnson. All right. Nyla, freshman Nyla Johnson puts it in for the Lady Raiders. Uh, that was the best offensive set I've seen out of the Lady Raiders tonight. Getting the ball inside. Going outside in right there. We had a uh, foul on the Lady Raiders right there. Looks like Cross Creek will inbound it uh, in front of the Lady Raiders sideline. Number three, Bess up top. Nyla Johnson with the steal. We got a two on one. We got Wilbur to Johnson, and she scores. Nyla Johnson with an assist from Wilbur right there, has our only four points for the Raiders in the ball game right now, but they have a 4-2 lead. So, uh, apparently we got a hell possession right there. Uh, possession goes to Cross Creek, they'll uh, inbound underneath. Uh, we got number 32. Uh, to 21 right here up top. That's Dorsey up to number three best on the right wing. Three is good. Cross Creek takes a one point lead with that three pointer. We got Wilbur up top over number four Mack. Back up to Wilbur. Back to Mack on the right wing. She takes a shot. Ball is deflected. Number 32 Barfield with the rebound. She gets fouled. See, that's Lady Raiders' six-team foul, it looks like. Uh, Cross Creek will be in the bonus for the remainder of the half with every foul now. All right, looks like Lady Raiders may be in a 1-3-1 one, one half-court trap here. And we have a foul. I think it's on number 13, uh, Nyla Johnson, who's come in and sparked the Lady Raider offense right here. And number 23, Marlin, first one goes. Uh, 
So now we have a uh, two point lead, six to four for Cross Creek with one more free throw coming. And number 23, Marlon sinks the second one. Three point lead for Cross Creek early on here. All right, we got Wilbur passes to Floyd. She shoots, no good. We got number, number 11, Ashanti Surrey with the rebound. Shot is no good, but we have, we have a foul on the rebound. Put back attempt. Okay, it looks like that foul is on the floor. Wilbur will inbound underneath. Looking for somebody, an open Raider uh, right here. We got number four, Mac up top. Gets a screen right there. Off to Floyd for the three. It is good. We are now tied again. We're under a minute to play in the first. Cross Creek over number three, Bess on the right wing. She travels with the ball. Lady Raiders uh, bring the ball in off of, right in front of their bench right here. So we got Mac bring the ball up top, gets it over to Wilbur on the left wing. Back up to Mac for a three. Shot is off. We got a number 32. Barfield with the rebound, gets fouled, and it'll send her to the line. Okay, we'll take a quick break uh, right here and come on back. Sponsored by City of Double Natural Gas. To so many of you who count on us for your prescription medication needs, I'd like to thank you for your years of trust. To those who've yet to choose Tomlinson Pharmacy and Medical Park Pharmacy, I invite you to stop by and discover what makes us different. Tomlinson Pharmacy is a mainstay among downtown businesses, welcoming customers with a smile and carrying on a decades-long tradition of caring and trusted service. Your time is important, so we'll strive to see that your prescriptions are filled in minutes, not hours. With all prescriptions, our pharmacists are available to consult with you, answering any and all questions about your medications. We know your day can be hectic, so we provide free delivery within city limits and refills through our IVR phone system, website, or mobile app. Tomlinson Pharmacy also stocks a wide array of over-the-counter medications and medical supplies. Wendell and Wendy Smith provide hands-on local ownership to ensure your satisfaction, and you'll always be treated like family offering prompt, acute, and caring service for your prescription and other medication needs, visit us today at Tomlinson Pharmacy. Come experience a difference. All right, we're back here, uh, West Lawrence High School. In the first quarter, a one if one opportunity from Cross Creek is good by number 32, Barfield. Uh, Right now leading uh, their post play. She's got another one coming and shot is off. Lady Reyes scramble for the rebound. We do get that rebound, but Wayne Floyd on the pass to number 12 Wilbur out of bounds. Eric Pass will give it back to Cross Creek. Ball here we have number 21 with a shot. That's Dorsey with the miss. But we got number three best with the rebound underneath right there. Puts it back in for a 10 to seven lead. Lady Raiders down, 20 seconds left in the quarter. We got Mack to Wilbur. Back over to Floyd. Back up top to Wilbur. Got a screen up top. Back over to Mack for a three, no good. Back to Mack, shot. No good. We're at the end of the quarter here. Last second heave and it's no good. At the end of the first quarter, we had the visiting Cross Creek Ra Razorbacks with a 10 to seven lead over our Lady Raiders. Tafara, a proud sponsor of Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. Stop by Tafara in the Dublin Mall, keeping the dream alive. All right, we're back at West Lawrence High School. Uh, 
Lady Raiders down by three here. Uh, first round state playoff matchup. We got Mac at the top, gives it to Wilbur on the right wing. Back over to Mac up top for a three, and this one is good. And we now have a tie ball game, 10 all. Lady Raiders look like they're in a 1-3-1. One, one. Looks like maybe two-thirds court pressure right here. Got number 21, gets the ball up top for Cross Creek. Air ball here. It'll be a Lady Raider ball. All right. Let's see, we got number 12, Wilbur. Now gets it number four on the left wing, but um, errant pass there. Cross Creek brings it back down. Number three, best shoots. No good. Gets her own rebound right here. Number 21, Dorsey gets it back over to Best for a three, no good. Scramble for the ball. We got Lady Raiders on the floor here. Uh, let's see, we got Mack with the ball. Gets it over to Mack. Wilbur with the ball here. Back over to Wilbur. Got Camilla Mack with the ball now, number four. Gets it to Wilbur. And we got a steal by the Cross Creek uh, Razorbacks here. Shot by 23. Marlin on the left wing is good. Three pointer right there. Cross Creek goes up by three here. Six and a half minutes left to go in the first. That's going to be in the second here. All right, we got a Wilbur to Mack on the left wing. Back over to Wilbur up top. Back to Wayne Tiana Floyd in the corner. Cross Creek gets a steal, off and running. Layup, no good. Lady Raiders with the rebound. Looks like we got a foul on Cross Creek. Cross Creek's fifth team foul there. <laughs> Lady Raiders, number 12, Wilbur inbounds. To number 10, Jazzy Smith coming back in. Wilbur up top, gets it to Smith. Gets it back over. Over to Mack in the corner. No, shot gets deflected. Cross Creek gets the ball. Number 21, Dorsey bringing it up. Off to number three, Bass at the right wing. Gets it to number 50, Wilbur up top. And shot is good. That is Will Bond. Will Bond with a two. Biggest lead for anybody right now. Five points for Cross Creek. Back up top to Wilbur. Shot is no good. In and out. Number 50, Will Bond. With the rebound, gets it to 21. Gets it back to Will Bond. Pass underneath the 32. Back out to 21, Dorsey. And she is fouled. Cross Creek already in the bonus. will be in a one if one situation. First shot is good by number 21, Dorsey. Six point lead for Cross Creek now. Free throw, second free throw is good. Got a seven point lead for the uh, visiting Razorbacks. Uh, Coach Griffith wants a timeout here. Lady Raiders trailing 17 to 10. We'll take a break. And come Legal matters require a highly qualified team to guide you through our complex legal system. Count on Smith Garner with over 90 years of trial experience representing you in personal injury, criminal, and divorce cases. Call 304 1451. Smith Garner, real lawyers, real experience, real results. All right, we're back from the timeout. Lady Raiders trailing by seven here, 524 left to play in the second period. Got Wilbur over to Smith, over to Mack on the left wing, gets it at the elbow to Mack. Back over to Mack in the corner, 
and shot goes down. Uh, looks like might be a, they call that a three-pointer. So we'll we'll keep it that way right now. 17-13. Number 23 with a errant shot gets her own rebound, but throws it away. It'll be Lady Raider ball. Looked like there was a bit of confusion between the two officials on whether or not that last shot was was a three or a two. All right, Lady Raiders bring the ball down uh, down the floor. We got number 12 Wilbur gets it to Smith. We got Jakar Wilbur up top. Jazzy Smith kind of at the right wing right there gets it over to Mack. She's dribbling baseline, loses the ball. So you got Cross Creek bringing the ball down the floor. Number 21 Dorsey, nice pass. Number three Bass, and the shot is good. Lady Raiders trailing by six. 19 to 13. Wilbur up top, tries to get a screen from Murray. Jazzy Smith, get ball gets deflected, she recovers it, she's on the right wing. Passes back out to number 12, Wilbur. Gets it to Kayla Murray, back to Mack over, back to Murray, back to Wilbur. Number 10, Smith right there, dribbles in, ball is deflected, she loses the ball. We got Bess with the ball for Cross Creek, dribbling up the left side of the floor here. Passes to 21 Dorsey. Up to number three Bess, Will Bond right there. On the right wing, shot is no good. Nice passing by the Razorbacks there. Number 12 Wilbur gets it to Mack for a three. And shot is good. Cuts the lead in half. Lady Raiders only trailing by three right here. Cross Creek gets the ball to number 23 on the left wing, gets it the best at the free throw line. Number 21 dribbles in, the shot is no good. Let's see, we got a foul on the Razorbacks here. All right, Lady Raiders inbounding the ball. Floyd to Wilbur bringing the ball down the floor. It's like Cross Creek staying in their 1 2 2 zone. Murray up top shoots the three, and she hits it. Tie ball game now. Got an, got an offensive foul on Cross Creek. Cross Creek 16 foul now. Lady Raiders will be in the bonus uh, from here on. See, so we got Wilbur up top. Lady Raiders with an opportunity to kept, capture the lead again. Number 22 Floyd off, rebound. 50 Wilbon gets it to number 21 Dorsey, bringing the ball down the floor. Looks like Lady Raiders might be in a 2 3 zone here, backing it in. Number 23, Marlin up top. Gets it over 21 on the left wing. Will Bond I'm down to 33 and shot is good. Cross Creek goes back up too. Looks like this is gonna be a tight one throughout. Okay, we got another pass number 22, Floyd. Loses the ball, Cross Creek coming down the left sideline here. Nice play right there. Under control, shot is no good. Lady Raiders rebound, Murray. Off to number 12, Wilbur. Pass intercepted by 23, Marlin. And we have number 21, Dorsey, dribbling the ball down, or up the middle of the floor here. Off to number 23, Marlin. 50, Wilbon. The three best. Number 33's in the game, Hudson. She scored a bucket already, number 23. Nice shot. Nice shot by Marlin right there from the corner. Cross Creek goes back up five. We've been seesawing here in the second quarter. We got Wilbur to Floyd, over to Mack. Shot is good. We're starting to warm up here. After a very low score in first period, now 24-22 with a minute and 10 seconds left in the half. Okay, Cross Creek, uh, the 23 on the right wing, up to 21, down the best. 
Ball is intercepted by Wilbur. She's under control, coming down the right wing here. Dribbling the ball off to Mack, who's hit one. Misses, shot, shot off, rebound by Wilbon. And number 21, Dorsey, dribbling the ball down the floor. Got, we're under a minute to play in the first half here. All right, we've got a pass down the short corner, number 23, at the free throw line, number 33, Hudson has come in and uh, scored four points here for uh, the Razorbacks. All right, we got Wilbur to Mack. Back over to Wilbur in the corner. She shoots the three, no good. Nobody for the Lady Raiders underneath the rebound here. We got number 23, Marlin. Lady Raiders sinking back on defense. Got under five seconds here. Number 23 off to 21. And this shot is no good. Okay, so we're one half in here in the first round state playoff match between uh, West Lawrence and Cross Creek. The visiting Cross Creek Razorbacks up 26-22. Uh, we'll be back uh, for the second half. Uh, this break sponsored by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus is proud to be a part of our community and invites you in today to see our new tassel necklaces, bead bracelets with matching earrings. All 10 and 14 karat gold earrings are now on sale. You'll save 25% off all pearl jewelry right now at Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus and diamond jewelry's up to 50% off. Randolph's offers confidential jewelry loans and will even buy your jewelry and coins. Count on Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus for repairs and sizing. Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus on Pine Forest Street in Dublin. You wouldn't buy a gallon of milk and immediately pour 70% of it out, would you? Then why would you do that with power for your home? 70% of electricity is lost on the way to your house, making it only 30% efficient. But natural gas is 92% efficient. Electricity is good to power your lights and electronics, but using natural gas for certain appliances is the most cost-effective, energy-efficient, and environmentally friendly mix for your home. Use it. Don't lose it. Choose the right energy mix. Choose natural gas. All right, we're back for the beginning of the second half here. Uh, Lady Raiders trailing by four. Uh, game got off to a slow start uh, early on, but uh, picked up certainly in the last four minutes of the uh, first half here. Uh, got Cross Creek up top. Uh, gets it to number three, Bess, on the left wing here. Dribbles up top. 21, Dorsey, down the middle of the lane. Shot no good. Number 23, Marlin with the rebound, but steps on the baseline, so it'll be Lady Raider ball. Number 12, Wilbur gets it to Mack, back to Wilbur. Wilbur dribbling the ball up top. Looks like uh, Cross Creek's in their 1 2 2 zone defense. Number 12, Wilbur with the shot, no good. Number 50, Wilbon with the rebound, gets it to number 21, Dorsey. Dribbles right through the lane there, shot no good. Number 50, Wilbur rebounds, shot is good off the bank. Let's see. I think it's after six. The bank should be closed by now, but shot still goes. All right, we got number 20, Wilbur up top, number 22, Floyd with her first bucket of the game, I think, on the left wing, a three. Lady Raiders trail by three. Cross Creek driven the ball down the floor. Three bests up top, over to 23, Marlin. 21 up top, gets the screen from Will Bond. Got the pick and roll action going on. And let me turn the ball over with a travel. Number 12, Will, Will be with the ball for the Lady Raiders, coming up the floor. Gets it to, before Mack, to the left wing. Floyd, gets the ball is stolen by Bess, dribbling down the floor and layup no good. Floyd with the rebound gets fouled by the Razorbacks. See, we got Floyd off to Wilbur, bringing the ball down the floor. We got 
Off right wing, Mack. Into number three, Mack. Let's see, that's Brianna Mack trying to get it into Camilla Mack. Guess you'd call that the Mack attack. All right, we got number four. Mack passes to Floyd. The right wing, Brianna Mack. Off to Floyd, over to Wilmer. And she travels. Cross Creek inbound in the ball. Got number 21, Dorsey, brings the ball down the floor. Over to number 23, Marlin. She's getting pressure on the left wing from Murray. Ball is stolen. We got Camilla Mack passing to Murray. On the assist right there. Murray with the steal and then gets the bucket. At number three, Bass dribbles all the way down the floor. Shot is no good. And we got number 33, Hudson, called for the over the back foul right there. All right, so we got Lady Raiders inbound. And number 12, Wilbur brings the ball down the floor. Lady Raiders trail by one here, almost midway through the third period. All right, number 12, Wilbur, errant pass, gets stolen by number 50, Wilbon. Off to number 21, uh, Dorsey right there. Top of the key, little pick and roll action. Shot is no good, Murray with the rebound. Number 12, Wilbur, quickly up to Mack at the right wing. Shot is no good. Number 21, Dorsey with the rebound down the right sideline and shot. No good, number 15, Murray with the rebound. Number 12, Wilbur, bring the ball down the right sideline. Gets it number four, Brianna Mack. Shot is no good. Number 50, Wilbon rebound off to 21, Dorsey. Up the floor to number three, Bess. And shot, and she gets fouled. Number three, Bass at the line for two. First shot rolls around and is good. Second free throw coming. And it is off. Right, number 15, Murray. Michaela Murray with the rebound. Gets it to Brianna Mack, bringing the ball down the floor. So it looks like uh, Wilbur's out of the game right now. Uh, Murray misses the shot. Rebound. Off to Cross Creek, bringing the ball down the floor. Got number three, Bess, up top. Let Raiders. And Murray is active with a steal right there. Gets the ball, dribbling, and gets fouled. She'll go to the line for two. It's number 15, Michaela Murray hits the first. Brings the Lady Raiders in to one point, deficit of one. And the second one, no good. Rebound number 50, Wilbon. On the right wing to number 21, Dorsey, getting a screen from number 32. Nice, nice screen there, nice pick and roll action. Barfield gets fouled. Cross Creek will inbound the ball underneath the, their own basket here. Bess off to 21 Dorsey on the left wing right here. Fade away three, no good. Wilbon with the rebound shot, no good. Number 12, Wilbur back in. Gets it to Mack, back to Wilbur. 
She dribbles, nice pass down to 15, Michaela Murray. That was all created by Wilbur's penetration. Number 21, Dorsey, shot no good, gets her own rebound and gets fouled. She'll go to the line for two. We're gonna take a quick break, come back. Uh, this break sponsored by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Oh, hey, you got one of those insurance apps too? You know how this thing works? No, sorry. Not an app, it's my agent. In this moment. No, I'm fine, thanks. It's good to know you have a trusted, independent auto owner's insurance agent who's there when you need them. Great. Man, I gotta get one of those. Or Insurance in Dublin is your local independent auto owner's insurance agency. All right, we're back. Uh, Lady Raiders with the lead right here at 30-29. Hadn't had the lead for a while now. Uh, and that lead was uh, short-lived with uh, Cross Creek with the first three throw, tying the ball game back up. Knotted up at 30 all, 3.09 left to go in the third. Okay, now Lady Raiders with a one-point deficit after uh, number 21 Dorsey sinks two free throws. Wilbur down off to Mack on the right side right there. Right wing. Looks like we got a foul on number 23, Marlin. Her third of the game. Lady Raiders uh, inbounding uh, in front of their own sideline. We got Wilbur shot, three-pointer on the left, right wing, no good. Battle for the loose ball right here. Still a battle for the loose ball. And it appears to be off Cross Creek and Lady Raiders will maintain possession on a baseline here. Lady Raiders on inbound underneath to Michaela Murray right there. Man, she has come in and Spartan Lady Raiders scoring here in the third. Nice assist right there from Wilbur. Cross Creek with the ball, number 21 Dorsey right wing. Off to number three Bess. Her shot good from the elbow right there. So Lady Raiders uh, now with a one point deficit again with the ball. Jazzy Smith on the left uh, gets trapped right here at the short corner. And uh, we got a timeout, a quick timeout by Coach Griffith here for the Lady Raiders maintaining possession. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. All right, we're back. West Lawrence with a baseline inbounds here, trailing by one. We got Wilbur to Floyd, over to Mack, back to Wilbur in the left corner right there. Shot is no good. She gets her own rebound. Back to Brianna Mack, three-pointer, no good. Michaela Murray tried to get the rebound, but it goes out of bounds. We're now under two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Lady Raiders trailing by one. Cross Creek bringing the ball down the floor. It's like Lady Raiders in a man, man-to-man -man defense here. Number 21, Dorsey. Uncontested layup right there. Cross Creek now up three with maintaining their one-two-two one, to one two, two, uh, zone defense right here. Number three, Camilla Mack. Shot is no good. Number 50, Wilbon rebound. Cross Creek dribbling down the right sideline. Uh, looks like Number five's in the ball game right here. Turns the ball over. Number four, Brianna Mack loses the ball. Gets it to Dorsey. She gets called for a travel right there. So uh, give the ball back to the Lady Raiders. All 
And Lady Raiders will inbound on uh, the visitor sideline right here. We got Wilbur to Mac. We got back to Wilbur. Shot by Michaela Murray at the free throw line, no good. We got Cross Creek dribbling the ball down the floor. We got number 21, Dorsey. Ball up top. Number five gets in the ball game, puts up a three, no good. Sam Michaela Murray gets it to Mack. She dribbles up top, gets it to Floyd. She dribbles in, shot no good, gets her own rebound, puts it up again, no good. Number 32, that's Barfield. Gets the rebound, get, looks like we have a uh, held possession here. And it looks like Lady Raiders will maintain possession. All right, we got number 12, Wilbur, get it to Murray. That combinations work pretty good here in the third, but that shot no good. Cross Creek gets the rebound, dribbling the ball down the floor. We got Floyd guarding number 21, Dorsey. Gets it into Barfield right there. And we have another held possession, and this time Cross Creek will maintain possession. We're under 15 seconds here left in the third period. Cross Creek get, gets it to Dorsey right there. We got, a, we got a push off the inbounds here. Let's see. Uh, we're not, it's a non-shooting foul. All right, we got 13.7 seconds left. Cross Creek inbounds. No, uh, Bess on the left side right there to number 21, Dorsey. A pick screen by 50, Wilbon. Uh, and her shot no good on the pick and roll attempt right here. We got Wilbur dribbling the ball down the floor. In the and it's good. Shot is good from about 25 feet right there. A great way to end the third. Ties the ball game up for the Lady Raiders here at the end of the third. Uh, so we end the third period, all knotted up at 35. It should be an exciting fourth quarter. Uh, right now we'll take a break, sponsored by City of Dublin Natural Gas. So what makes OFTC a top choice for college? Here's why. You get hands-on training, and OFTC instructors have years of industry experience. You see, when you have access to that kind of knowledge, it makes a difference. And with financial aid, grants, and scholarships, OFTC is affordable. You can step into your new career debt-free. Think differently about college and make a Coney Fall Line Technical College your top choice. OFTC is an equal opportunity institution. All right, we're back here uh, for the fourth quarter. Uh, two evenly matched teams here in the first round of state playoffs. Number two seed out of Region 4, excuse me, Region, region 2-4A, uh, West Lawrence Lady Raiders hosting Cross Creek Razorbacks, uh, the number three seed out of uh, Region 3-4A. Uh, and, uh, you know, we got eight minutes to decide this, uh, you know, who, who moves on to the Sweet 16. Lady Raiders getting the ball into Murray right there. Shot is no good. Number 23. Marlin with the rebound, gets it number three best. With 21 Dorsey now with the ball. Gets a screen from number three best. She shoots, no good. Ball put back is no good. Scramble for the rebound, looks like it's off the Lady Raiders and Cross Creek will maintain possession underneath the baseline. Lady Raiders in a 2-3 zone defense here to defend the inbounds. All right, here we go. We got number 23, Marlin, gets it number 21, Dorsey up top. She gets it, number 50, Wilbon. Number 21, Dorsey gets it. Errant shot right there. And it appears Cross Creek uh, is gonna maintain possession with the ball being deflected off the Lady Raiders. All 
All right, looks like Cross Creek's in a stack here on the inbound. Lady Raiders defending with a 2-3. All right, number 23, Marlin, off to the right wing. Number three, Bess, looks in for Will Bond. A little screen action right there. And looks like we're going to have a foul there on um, Say number three, looks like number three, Camilla Mack right there. Lady Raiders 16 foul, so uh, Cross Creek will be in the bonus for the remainder of the game with every foul. Cross Creek inbound and here on the sideline looking. And we have a five second call called on Cross Creek. It'll be Lady Raider ball. Good defense by the Lady Raiders on that inbounds right there. Lady Raiders, Wilbur quickly up top to, on the right wing to Mack. Brianna Mack for the three. Lady Raiders going up three here with that. Number 21, Dorsey, nice move right there. Gets fouled, will go to the line. All right, so number 21, Dorsey. He's had a very good game. Does most of the ball, has most of the ball handling responsibilities for Cross Creek. Uh, she hits her first free throw right there, pulls Cross Creek to within two. Second free throw is good as well. Lady Raiders now with a one point lead. Number 12, Wilbur bringing it down. Gets number 10, Jazzy Smith on the right wing. Gets it back out. Got a three, no good by 15, Murray. Rebound by Cross Creek. Ball is stolen. Ugh. And apparently Murray has ste stepped on the sideline right there. Cross Creek will inbound the ball. All right, we got number three, Bess, loses the ball. We got a scramble for the ball. Looks like we're gonna have a jump ball. And uh, it appears uh, Cross Creek will maintain possession here on the hell possession. Cross Creek inbounding. Errant pass, Lady Raiders with a steal. We got Wilbur on the Smith. And she scores the layup right there. Lady Raiders with a three-point lead now. Got number 21, Dorsey, with the shot. Great boom by number 21, Dorsey. Uh, she gets fouled and will go to the line uh, to try to get uh, the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Shot is no good. However, at number 32, Barfield gets the rebound, puts it up. So a four-point possession for Cross Creek gives them the lead, a one-point lead. Number 22, floor in the left wing, loses the ball. Got Cross Creek bringing it up, number 21, Dorsey. Gets a screen up top from number 50, Will Bond. She loses the ball as a scramble on the left wing. see here. Looks like they called a hell possession. Looks like Lady Raiders will have the ball. Lady Raiders down, down by one here. Five minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the ball game. We got Wilbur off to Brianna Mack on the right wing. Gets it back to Wilbur. Over to Smith up top. We got Brianna Matt now on the left wing, dribbles in. She shoots, no good. <coughs> number 32, Barfield rebound, gets it number three best, gets it up to right wing, 21 Dorsey. Shot fake. She's in the short corner, gets it number three best at the top. We have a timeout by Cross Creek here. Um, and uh, with five minutes, 15 seconds left to play, Cross Creek, uh, Razorbacks 41, West Lawrence Lady Raiders 40. We'll be back in a moment.
Brad, you're working on a song about planning for retirement, right? Yeah. I wrote you some lyrics. You're writing now? Mm-hmm. Here's a man like you and me Retired after 18 years at QB Kind of seems like it might be about you. Which part? All of it. It's about retirement planning. I don't see it, Brad. Nationwide is on your side. All right, we're back here. Five minutes, 15 seconds left. Cross Creek will inbound the ball. Red essentially in front of their own sideline right there. Lady Raiders look out there in a the man to man here. Uh, see, Bass gets it to Dorsey. Dorsey dribbles up top. Gets a screen from Will Bond. Dribbling down the left wing here. She shoots, she scores. And Cross Creek with now a three-point lead. Wilbur quickly up to Mac for a three. And she banks the three in. We're knotted up at 43 again. This is gonna looks like it's gonna be a nail biter down to the wire here. Number 23, Marlin with a three-pointer right there. They're heating up here. Cross Creek now with a three-point lead. Number 12, Wilbur up top to number 10, Smith. Back to the Wilbur. Gets it to number four, Max. She shoots, no good. Number 32, Barfield. Gets it to 23, Marlin. Number 50, Wilbon. Number 32, Barfield with the ball. And we have another timeout by Cross Creek. Looks like uh, some of their post players are having to handle the ball up top. And, you know, not, not very confident in doing so. so Coach calls a timeout. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here uh, with the Lady Raiders trailing by three, 46-43. Uh, four minutes, 13 seconds left. This break sponsored by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Hi, I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. See the full line of exciting Can-Am products featuring the Can-Am Outlander line of ATVs. Outlanders outfit you with the best mix of performance, handling, and comfort, all at a price you can afford. Can-Am Outlanders, riding the trails, working the farm, or playing in the mud, nothing beats a Can-Am. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. We're back for the last four minutes, 13 seconds here. We got Cross Creek inbound the ball. It's, it's, it's been a tight one. Uh, I, I think the biggest lead in the game has been five points here. So uh, you know, I don't anticipate anything otherwise here in the remaining four minutes. Cross Creek dribbles the ball, uh, apparently deflected by Lady Raiders, so Cross Creek will maintain possession here. Number three, Bess, uh, underneath the baseline right here. Gets it number 23, Marlin. Dribbles up top to number 21, Dorsey. She gets a screen, number, number 50 on it. Gets it 23, Marlin. Gets it to three, Bess. Good ball movement right there for uh, the Razorbacks, and they score. Uh, now it's a five-point lead with 3.45 left, just a two-possession game. Number 22, Floyd, up top to Wilbur. Gets it to Mack. Ball is deflected, and will make Lady Raiders maintain possession. Three minutes, 37 seconds left. All right, we got Wilbur uh, in front of her own bench right there. Gets it in. Back to Mack, back to Wilbur. Lose. We got number 22, Floyd, with the rebound. She comes in, gets fouled. She'll go to the line for two. The 
Number 22, Wayne Tiana Floyd. She shoots, misses the first. For the second, no good. Number 50, Wilbon with the rebound. Number 21, Dorsey down the left sideline, dribbling all the way down, left hand, and it is good. Very impressive from Miss Dorsey right there. Use of the left hand. We got Wilbur bringing the ball up. Out to the right wing, ran a Mack. Nice dribble, and she scores down the, she scores on the baseline right there. Coach Oliver Griffith calls timeout right there. Lady Raiders down six, 309 left to play in the game. Hot tubs, we love them. They're one of the universe's greatest gifts to the stressed out, the sore bodied, and the party animal. But then comes the dilemma. Is the stress-melting nature of a hot tub worth the seemingly endless cleaning and maintenance that comes with ownership? With the Constant Clean Hot Tub Water Management System from Marquee, there is no dilemma. Traditional circulation pumps are slow to draw water. They often filter only a portion of the water and usually only skim debris from the surface, leaving most of the particulates in the rest of the water untreated. Marquis Vortex Skimmer System powerfully filters 100% of the water from the hot tub, floor to surface, 60 to 160 times a day via its primary pump. The Vortex Skimmers skim surface contaminants such as body oils and lotions, then direct them into the filter cartridges, trapping them there. Water is also drawn from the footwell and forced upward through the filter to trap heavier particles that might settle in the water near the floor of the hot tub. All of the filtered water is then drawn into the primary jet pump and through the high flow heater assembly. From there, the Ozonator's high output, energy efficient design converts oxygen into activated ozone gas. The MOSI injector mixes the ozone with water, which is then introduced into the mixing chamber where bacteria and other contaminants are neutralized for clean, sanitary water. The ozone converts back to plain old oxygen and is reintroduced, along with any residual ozone, into the hot tub water. Water passes through the inline sanitation system and is treated with natural minerals and low-dose bromine or smart chlor before re-entering the spa. All of this happens without lifting a finger, thanks to the smart clean software that knows when you've used the hot tub and automatically triggers a cleanup cycle after your soak. The Constant Clean system allows you to change your water less frequently. Use less electricity than a traditional circulation pump that runs constantly. And use fewer chemicals that may smell or can cause skin irritation. For the ultimate hot tub experience, without the hassle, contact a Marquee dealer today. We're back. Uh Looks like Lady Raiders down six here, 309 left. Is going to apply some pressure. Uh, okay, we got number three best bringing the ball down. Uh, Lady Raider pressure. Shot is missed. Got a rebound number 32 Barfield off to 23 Marlin. Her shot no good. Rebound Lady Raiders. Number four Brandon Mack dribbling the ball down the floor. And her shot no good. Rebound. Number 15, Michaela Murray. She goes down, but the shot is good. And she gets a steal right here. Off to number three, Camilla Mack. Back into Murray. She, okay. She, she falls, thought she, Okay, we got a little confusion here. Let's see what we got. Okay, all right, on, on that call there, it appears Coach Oliver Griffith uh, got called for a technical foul. So we'll have Cross Creek go into the line to shoot the technical free throw. Cross Creek misses the first. Number 
number 21, Dorsey, with the second free throw attempt. It is good. And so we have Cross Creek and we'll have possession and a four point lead. Two minutes, 34 seconds left to play. Number 32, Barfield inbounding at the half court line right here on the sideline. Ball is deflected, we'll do it again. Number three, Bess will inbound the ball on the sideline this time. Uh, Cross Creek stacking here. Uh, number 21, Dorsey with the ball in the back court. Number 50, Wilbon gets the screen. She's got the ball up top. And we have a timeout by the coach for Cross Creek. To maintain possession. We have two minutes, 24 seconds left. Fit, scores 51-47, Cross Creek. Uh, we'll take a break here. Uh, this break sponsored by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Meadows Health is much more than a hospital. We're heart attack stoppers and fitness jump starters. We're cancer fighters and patient huggers. We're a surgery center and an up all night center. We're a devoted group of primary care and specialty physicians, all in one advanced, comprehensive, and close to home health system. Far more than a medical center, we're Meadows Health, and we're here for you in Vidalia. All right, we're back. Lady Raiders down by four. Cross Creek with possession. They're going to stack it around half court here. And we got number 32, Barfield with the ball. Gets it to number 50, Wilbon. She's looking, gets it to number three, Bess. Closely guarded by Brianna Mack. It's like we're going to have a number three, Bess with the ball right there. She cradles the ball and gets fouled. Lady Raiders uh, ninth team foul there, so uh, Cross Creek will be in the double bonus from here on after this one if one. And misses the first. It looks like that might have been the tenth. Or I guess that was a shooting foul. It was. So number three best with the second coming. And the second is good. Uh, I think that ties the uh, big largest lead by any of the teams for the night at five points. Or close, it might have been a six point lead early. All right, number 15, Murray uh, with the bank right there from the elbow. Cuts the lead to, cuts the lead to three now. Got it, we're under two minutes here. Cross Creek, Dorsey, she's looking, she picks up her dribble. We got number 32, Barfield picks up her dribble. She tries to throw it off a Lady Raider. It goes through the legs. Mack with the ball. It gets it to, uh, gets it to Camilla. Brianna Mack. And we have a foul by Cross Creek. And then, let's see. Apparently that's the sixth team foul for Cross Creek. So Lady Raiders will inbound the ball underneath their own uh, baseline right here. Um, we got Brandon Mack with the miss. She gets her own rebound, puts it up, no good. There's a scramble for the ball. Uh, number three, uh, Bess with the rebound, gets it to Dorsey. We're under a minute and a half left here now at one minute, 20 seconds. Number 23, Marlin misses. Number three, best with the rebound. We have a jump ball, and uh, I think Cross Creek will maintain possession. Looks like, looks like number four, Brianna Mack, might have gotten the wind knocked out of her. We're going to take a quick break on this injury timeout. Uh, Lady Raiders trailing by three. For expert computer repair service, count on Hometown Supply. Repairs on desktops, laptops, iPads, and more. 
Hometown Supply offers in-store and on-site computer repair service, including removal of viruses, recovering data, replacing screens, battery replacement, performing upgrades, and much more. From password recovery, hard drive replacement, keyboard repair, antivirus software installation, complete service made easy and convenient. For professional and personal computer repair, call on Hometown Supply. Your experts for computer repair service. Phone 272-0345 or visit us across from the skyscraper in downtown Dublin. For expert computer repair service, count on Hometown Supply. Okay, we're back right here after the injury timeout. Brandon Mack, just looks like she got the wind knocked out of her right there. Uh, you know, hopefully she'll be back here to play the last minute or so. You know, after another break in play, we got the Cross Creek inbound the ball, number 21 Dorsey on the left wing. Uh, we're getting close to a minute to play here. Lady Raiders down by three. Uh, number three, Bass up top. Gets it number 23, Marlin. Number three, um, Bass dribbling in. Ball is deflected, but number 23, Marlin maintains possession. Dorsey back up top. Looks like a little keep away here by um, the Cross Creek, but Dorsey misses a layup right there. See, we got Jazzy Smith over number 12, Wilbur on the left wing. And she gets called, looks like, for the double dribble right there on the turnover. Ooh, that hurts. Looks like we're gonna have a timeout by Coach Griffith right here to uh, rally the troops. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break right here. Uh, Lady Raiders trailing by three, 38.8 seconds left to play. You wouldn't buy a gallon of milk and immediately pour 70% of it out, would you? Then why would you do that with power for your home? 70% of electricity is lost on the way to your house, making it only 30% efficient. But natural gas is 92% efficient. Electricity is good to power your lights and electronics, but using natural gas for certain appliances is the most cost-effective, energy-efficient, and environmentally friendly mix for your home. Use it. Don't lose it. Choose the right energy mix. Choose natural gas. All right, we're back here, uh, Cross Creek with possession here. Up three, 38.8 seconds left. Certainly the Lady Raiders don't, let, don't need to let too much time run off the clock here uh, before they either get a turnover or commit a foul to stop the clock here. The Lady Raiders trying to, with 24 seconds left, Cross Creek maintain possession, number 21 Dorsey gets fouled right there. Not too, not too bad of possession right, you know, right there. Lady Reds tried to get the steal, uh, could not get it, and uh, about 15 seconds ran off right there, but uh, they fouled. Now, number 21 Dorsey's at the line. She'll be at the line for two since uh, Cross Creek's in the double bonus. Uh, and, you know, she's hit several free throws already. Uh, she's certainly capable of, of making them here. Um, we'll see. As you know, with every possession, we have added pressure here. Her first goes down, uh, makes it a two possession game here. Cross Creek up four points now. Second free throw is good as well. Uh, five point lead for the uh, Cross Creek Razorbacks here. Lady Raiders getting it down. Wilbur to Mack on the right wing, gets a screen from Murray. Mack drives in, shot no good, rebound by 33 Hudson, loose ball, and ball is out of bounds, ball lands on the sideline there, 8.2 seconds left. All right, number three, uh, Bass inbounds the ball, gets it to Will Bond, doesn't, doesn't appear, okay, now we have a foul here. Uh, 3.9 seconds left. Will Bond will go to the line for two. Yes, will Bond with the shot right there. Makes the score 55-49. And her second is good as well. That is definitely the largest lead of the ball game. Will brings the ball down, shoots the three at the uh, buzzer, no good. 
So, to, to cap off the game here, Cross Creek goes on a little mini run right here at the end to take the game at 56-49. They will advance to the Sweet 16 of the uh, second round of the 4A state playoffs. Uh, great season, though, for the uh, West Lawrence Lady Raiders uh, finishing up here. Uh, however, on, you know, on a down note, but nonetheless a good season. Uh, we're going to call it a, a night here, TV 35. I uh, appreciate our sponsor, City of Dublin Natural Gas. Uh, this is Danny Johnson signing off right here from uh, West Lawrence High School.